Sheldrake claims we have an energy field surrounding us, which connects us to every living thing. And if that sounds too much like New Age claptrap, then let's try an experiment to see if Sheldrake's morphic fields really do exist. For this experiment, I need an amputee who believes they have a phantom limb. Shortly after my amputation, I could actually feel my left arm where it had been before, even though it wasn't there. Olaf lost his arm in a motorbike crash at the TT races. His wife Barbara is a Reiki healer who often works without touching the human body. From the other side of a door, can she detect where his phantom limb will be? Can you guess where you think the phantom arm is? The, the official theory is that the phantom arm is produced inside the brain, it's all in the head, and it's not really out there. I think that there's a field that is actually out there. When you first tried Reiki yeah. on me, you did yeah, sense yeah. that there was a different energy field. Completely it? different. Mm. Over a period of time, my limb has shrunk. The hand, if you can imagine this in mirror, has now moved and attached itself to my stump. The hand is about that big. I imagine there'll be a full hand the other side. Yes. Yeah. So when you're ready to go... Oh, yeah, we're ready to, to go. go. OK, yeah. when you've done it, Matthias, give a click. This will give the click. Sheldrake believes that the strongest forms of telepathy are between people with close bonds. Olaf and Barbara are husband and wife. But can she tell that his phantom hand is currently sticking out of panel number six? Okay. Four, I had no sensation three, three, of being touched six, or six, even five, putting my three, phantom limb through the door. I had no sensation of that at all. Mm. So we're one out of twelve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did just you feel, I just, All I could feel was just too much heat here, and I thought it might be the lights. I wasn't able to distinguish. Do you do any subtle energy medicine or anything? Yeah. Uh, Anthony is an ex-soldier who is now a healer. Yes, he also works without hands, touching the body. Will he fare any better than Barbara? Of the number or your thoughts are elsewhere like I want a banana? I'm, I'm not going to give you any clues. OK, fine. <laughs> Six, five, two, four, two, one. Okay, thank you. I can actually feel effectively as though my phantom would be the other side of the door. Strange, eh? Well, that's six. The chance level's two. Okay. That's actually statistically significant. That's phenomenal, actually. I mean, okay. I was, um, that's an amazing score in, under these conditions. Yeah. What I've been told so far is that whatever you sense in your phantom limb is in your mind. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I think uh, Dr. Sheldrake has something with this. But whether, we, whether he or anybody else can actually prove there is a physical, metaphysical, call it what you will, um, force around or surrounding a phantom limb, I couldn't say. But it's, I, th I think it's certainly worth looking into. If you had your eyes closed mm -hmm. and, and uh, Barbara put her hand where your phantom is, mm -hmm. where touching your phantom yes, limb, whether yeah. you'd be able to feel it. Probably an interesting experiment, we could try that. Mm. Yes, we could certainly try that. I mean, that's the kind of thing, do try this at home. <laughs> 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 I mean, you couldn't really try it anywhere else, could you? People think you were quite mad. But, uh. So at last, success. Though, of course, I'd need to do hundreds of tests to really prove it. And most scientists would think I'm barmy, even for trying. But maybe that's about to change. Because like the willow trees which inspired him, Sheldrake's own career is undergoing something of a regeneration. In September 2005, he was awarded £100,000 for research. And as the winner of this Perrick Warwick Scholarship, he is based in his old stamping ground, Trinity College, Cambridge.
For 25 years, I've had to fund my research as best I could. Now I have some official support. And yes, that certainly makes life easier. And the fact that it's Cambridge again? Well, that's nice, yes. I mean, I wouldn't object if Oxford had paid me or any other university for that matter, but it's very nice it's Cambridge. Maybe Sheldrake's experiments in Cambridge will go some way to proving these phenomena exist, but I doubt the scientific establishment will ever believe him. In the coming years, conventional science may have an explanation for all of this, but that's just a matter of belief too, isn't it? For me, the science world will be a lot more boring without heretics like Sheldrake around. And in years to come, who knows, science may yet thank him. <laughs> <laughs>